the graph of f dash the derivative of f consists of two line segments and a semicircle as shown in the graph above you have been given that f of 2 is 1 we have to find f of minus 5 so note that integral of f dash from minus 5 to 2 is basically f of 2 minus f of minus 5 now this integral from minus 5 to 2 is basically this area minus this area this is 2 and this is minus 2 so this will be the area of this part is half into 3 into 2 which is just 3 and this is pi this is a semicircle of radius 2 so pi times 2 so this is equal to 3 minus 2 pi and we have been given that f of 2 is 1 so 1 minus f of minus 5 so this turns out to be f of minus 5 equals 1 minus 3 minus 2 pi which is 2 pi minus 2 which is option a i hope this is clear going ahead the function f defined by f of x equals x over x plus 2 and it has been given that what the question asks us to find points x comma y on the graph of f which has the property that the line tangent to f has slope 1 by 2 so we have to find the points when uh, the slope is 1 by 2 so let's do this so we have f prime of x is by quotient rule this is x plus 2 square x plus 2 as it is derivative of x is 1 minus x as it is derivative of x plus 2 is 1 this is 2 by x plus 2 square and we want this to be equal to 1 by 2 now solving this we get x plus 2 square equals 4 so x plus 2 is equal to plus or minus 2 so x is equal to minus 2 plus or minus 2 which is when you take plus you get 0 when you take minus you get minus 4 so when x is 0 f of 0 is 0 f of minus 4 is basically minus 4 pi minus 4 plus 2 which is minus 4 by minus 2 which is 2 so the right answer is option c i hope this is clear from this question asks us to integrate 0 to 1 pi x plus 8 divided by x square plus 3x plus 2 now note that x square plus 3x plus 2 is nothing but x square plus 2x plus x plus 2 which is x times x plus 2 plus 1 times x plus 2 which is x plus 1 times x plus 2 so now let's use partial fractions so let 5x plus 8 equals by x plus 1 times x plus 2 equals a by x plus 1 plus b by x plus 2. Now this implies y x plus 8 equals a times x plus 2 plus b times x plus 1. Now if you put x is equal to minus 2, we get y times minus 2 plus 8 is equal to 0 plus b times minus 1. So this is minus 2 is equal to minus b which implies b is equal to 2. Now if you put x is equal to minus 1 we get minus 5 plus 8 equals a. So a equals b. So our required integral is integral 0 to 1 
k is 3. So 3 by x plus 1 plus integral 0 to 1. B is 2. 2, 1 by x plus 2. Now this is P logarithm x plus 1, 0 to 1, plus 2 logarithm ln x plus 2. Limits are from 0 to 1. So this is 3 ln 2 minus 3 ln 1, which is 0, plus 2 ln 3 minus 2 ln 2. Now combining these two, we get 3 ln 2 minus 2 ln 2 is ln 2. So ln 2 plus, now 2 ln 3 is ln 3 square. This is ln 2 plus ln 9. Now, this turns out to be ln 2 times 9, which is ln 18. So, the right option is option C. The line y equals to phi is an horizontal asymptote to which of the following functions. Now, as x tends to infinity, this particular limit does not exist. As x tends to infinity, y will also tend to infinity. So this is also not the horizontal asymptote. Here as x tends to infinity, y will tend to 0. Here as x tends to infinity, y will tend to... So let's divide throughout by x. So phi by 1 by x minus 1. So as x tends to infinity, this is minus 5. So this is also not 5. Now let's see this. So as x tends to infinity here, divide throughout by x square. So you get y tends to 20 minus 1 by x divided by 1 by x square plus 4. So as x tends to infinity, this term will go to 0, this term will go to 0. So this is 20 by 4, which is 1. So y will tend to 5. So basically, e is the only option where y is tending to 5 as x tends to infinity. So option e is the right option. Going ahead, the power series a n x minus. Let me clear this. The power series a n x minus three raised to n converges at x is equal to five. Which of the following must be true? Now you know that the center of convergence is three, and you know it is converging at x is equal to five. Now you from that you can conclude that the radius of convergence should be greater than or equal to. 2 because 5 minus 3 is 2. Now 0 is at a distance 3. So you cannot conclude anything whether it diverges at converge or converges because if the radius is greater than say 4, it will converge. So A is not the option. It diverges at 1. Again, we cannot conclude anything there. The series converges at x is equal to we need not still conclude because if it were 1 here and if the radius were 2, it will diverge there. The series converges at x is equal to 2. For sure. Because 2 is less than 3 minus 2 is 1. So 2 is at a distance 1 from 3. So for sure you can say that the series will converge at x is equal to 2. So if P of T is the size of the population at time T, which of the following differential equations represent linear growth? So you know that uh, any linear equation has a constant slope. So among the options, the only one with constant slope, which is the first derivative, is option A. So option A is the right option. I hope this is clear. If you have any doubts, feel free to comment down below. I will be happy to answer your questions.